Since its introduction in February 1955, the U.S. Air Force has flown the Boeing B-52 Strat Fortress for nearly 70 years. However, in order to maintain it in service for another 100 years, the strategic bomber is undergoing numerous updates. One significant update is a massive engine replacement project, which will result in the model being renamed to B-52H after nearly two generations. The upgrades surprised many in the military sector, particularly with regard to the engine selected for the B-52H. This is the largest overhaul of a U.S. bomber fleet in over a generation. The Air Force recently revealed its plan to have two bombers capable of dropping bombs by late 2030. They intend to phase out the older B-1 Lancer and B-2 Spirit bombers and replace them with a new stealth bomber, the B-21 Raider. The B-52 is the other replacement bomber in this plan, but its age is clearly showing and the Air Force has decided it needs a major update. The Air Force's fiscal 2024 budget documents state that the B-52H model will be renamed the B-52J after its upgrade, with a particular focus on extending its operational life until at least 2060. This ambitious project aims to keep the bomber in service for almost a century, far longer than its originally planned service life of about 20 years. The main component of this upgrade is swapping out the aircraft's original Pratt and Whitney TF-33 engines, which were revolutionary in 1960 but are now expensive to maintain and less fuel-efficient than contemporary engines. As a result, any overhaul of the B-52 that didn't involve an engine swap would be ineffective and expensive. As part of the commercial engine replacement program, Boeing has selected the new Rolls-Royce F-130 engines for this upgrade. With $2.6 billion set aside for their development, the F-130 engines are anticipated to be more dependable and quiet than the current engines, meaning that Boeing and the Air Force won't have to rely on antiquated supply chains for spare parts. Moreover the electrical power generation system, along with related subsystems like the engine struts and cells, will be replaced. The Air Force anticipates that the first ground and flight tests of the B-52J will begin by late 2028, with additional B-52s scheduled to receive their engine upgrades throughout 2030. The B-52J will also see upgrades to its systems, including a modern ISA radar to replace the current APG-16-6 radar improved avionics new digital displays long-range standoff weapons like the hypersonic attack cruise missile communication upgrades and much more. It is projected that the B-52 commercial engine replacement program modifications will cost between 11 billion and 15 billion US dollars in total. This helps to explain why the U.S. Air Force is keen on. In order to extend the life of the B-52, we must go back to the years immediately following World War II. During this time, the U.S. Air Force was committed to establishing U.S. dominance in the world arena, especially against the Soviet Union. To that end, they required a strategic bomber that could conduct missions anywhere in the world without having to rely on advanced or intermediate bases that were under the control of other countries. As a result, the aircraft had to have a long operational range in order to meet Air Force requirements. Following a competition to determine the ideal aircraft parameters, Boeing's Model 462 was chosen in June 1946. This design included six Wright T-35 turboprop engines powering a straight-winged aircraft with a combat radius of roughly 2,700 nautical miles. However, the Air Force determined that the Model 462 was too big for their needs, so Boeing created the four-engine, smaller Model 464. There were more changes made to the Model 464 itself. Boeing produced two variants, the 46467, a bomber with a nuclear payload, and the 46417, a general-purpose bomber with a four-ton payload. Although the Air Force expressed interest in the 46417, they were not entirely satisfied with its range, and Boeing's contract was on the verge of cancellation in December 1947. This historical ICO context explains how Boeing's designs continuously evolved and were modified to meet military requirements, culminating in the modern B-52 upgrades. However, Boeing was fortunate to be granted additional time to improve the design of the aircraft. 
After multiple revisions, the Model 46467 was finally approved in February 1951. Boeing was then given a contract to produce 13 aircraft, designated the B-52A. Although the B-52A was the first variant produced, it was primarily used for testing. Over time, eight variants of the B-52 were developed, labeled A to H, with each variant becoming increasingly more efficient. But we'll concentrate on the most recent model, the B-52H, which was constructed in 1962. Measuring 185 feet in wingspan, 159 feet in length, and 40 feet high, the B-52H can take off with a maximum weight of slightly over 220 tons, including a payload of about 32 tons and a fuel capacity of about 48,000 gallons. Eight Pratt and Whitney TF-33 turbofan engines power the B-52H which, after being upgraded to allow the aircraft to reach a maximum speed of 650 miles per hour, a cruise speed of 500 miles per hour, and a combat range of approximately 8,800 miles without refueling, were particularly crucial to its success. So why is the B-52 so important to the U.S. Air Force? The B-52 Strat Fortress broke several world records after it was launched, in September 1958, the aircraft reached its highest speed of 5,000 km per hour and 10,000 km per hour. It also broke its own record for the most distance flown by an unrefueled aircraft between 1960 and 1962. Near the northern border of the Soviet Union, B-52 bombers fitted with thermonuclear weapons were routinely kept on airborne alert. Up to 12 flights a day from different airbases were involved in this activity. Beyond its usage in the Cold War, the B-52 was also widely employed by the U.S. Air Force in airstrikes against Iran, the Taliban, and Islamic State groups, as well as in bombing missions during the Vietnam and Gulf Wars. The B-52's versatility has been essential to its deployment at both high and low altitudes, as well as in tactical support missions, where it can be readily reconfigured to carry out a range of tasks in accordance with the demands of the armed forces. A total of 744 B-52 aircraft were built between 1954 and 1962, spanning eight major variants. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and until the next time.